we just saw in the previous video that liquids and gases make up fluids because their particles move about or they flow. Now the particles move randomly, just as you can see here. The particles in liquids and gases move randomly. They don't have a specific pattern of movement. They move randomly. And this is called Brownian motion, named after Robert Brown. Now let me give you a brief history. Robert Brown observed this but couldn't really explain it. He observed that when specks of pollen fell in water, the pollen did not move in a specific direction, but instead the pollen moved randomly. The pollen moved randomly. This was observed under a microscope. He couldn't explain it, but Einstein explained this better. Einstein said that the particles were being carried around by the water molecules. The pollen was being carried around by the water molecules. Now the water molecules were moving randomly. Their random movement is due to collision between the particles. So if two particles, one and two, are moving, they will collide. Once the collision happens, this one could move in this direction where it can also collide with another and then keep bouncing off each other. The particles collide and keep bouncing off each other. Now, as they are bouncing off, they gain energy. At, through the collisions, they gain more energy. Okay, so through collisions of particles, they gain more energy. And then let's take note that gas particles in gases and liquids move randomly and this random motion is called Brownian motion. Now due to the energy they are gaining, they can move heavy particles. The little water molecules can move the heavy pollen because they are although they are light, they are fast moving and then they are gaining more and more energy as they collide. So the little water molecules, the very little water molecules can move heavy particles like pollen. Okay, when I say heavy, I'm talking about it relatively. You know that one water molecule would be very, very small and very, very light. Okay, so in relation to the weight of the pollen or the mass of the pollen, the pollen will be heavier than the water molecule. Okay, so through collisions, they can move the fast or they can move the heavy particles. Now Brownian motion just confirms that atoms and molecules exist and provide evidence of the particle theory.